Welcome to this free webinar on Omics Logic Summer Research Fellowship. Today we have a few speakers who will be sharing about the data science in biology and the research fellowship opportunities. We hope that this will help some of you see a path for yourself and ask your questions you might have to learn more about the fellowship and Omics Logic resources. So let us start with the introduction about us. We are a US-based bioinformatics company who are working with multiple academic and commercial collaborators to develop easy-to-use analytical tools with a mission is to make bioinformatics more accessible. We are doing this by providing training and tools that help people make discoveries using next-generation sequencing and other types of high-throughput data. We see this as a result of accelerated pace of biological data generation and availability of next generation sequencing technologies throughout the different locations in the world and widespread appreciation of the accuracy and details that such data can provide us. My name is Sonalika Ray and I am the Omics Logic Community Manager responsible for daily interaction with thousands of users that are a part of a bioinformatics community managed by Pine Biotech. Omics Logic research is based on training programs which are a result of close collaboration between Pine Biotech, an innovative big data analytics company based in the US and numerous academic institutions that have participated in content evaluation, curriculum review and project design. As a result, the Omics Logic programs have been thoroughly tested around the world and are known to lead to excellent outcomes for students with minimal bioinformatics background, including biology and biomedical studies majors, as well as faculty interested in bioinformatics, data science and biomedical research. I'm honored to have been working with a team that collectively has amazing experience in this area, including the other co-founders of the company, Dr. Alfred Tauber, who comes from a medical background with expertise in oncology, immunology, and biochemistry of information. He has a long understanding recognition for his generous support of many international projects and research activities. One of these projects is the establishment of the Tauber Bioinformatics Research Center, which has been at the core of what we do. Dr. Leonid Brodsky is the director of Tauber Bioinformatics Research Center and is an expert in bioinformatics and biostatistics. He has numerous publications on bioinformatics and over the course of his career, he has developed multiple novel algorithmic approaches to biomedical data science. These have been widely used in basic and translational research in biotechnology, pharmaceutical R&D, agriculture, and basic research. What we will discuss today and throughout this program is a result of hard work by some of the people mentioned here on the left. Julia Panov, who was an expert bioinformatician and helped prepare many of the materials we will use. Avi Tatevsky, who was a computer scientist and lead the development of T-BioInfo platform that we will use. And I will be introducing our team members in India in the next few slides. Omics Logic is an international program that is running in five different regions with over 10,000 users around the world. Due to this fast growth, our team is working with local and regional coordinators that are helping refine local program logistics and leverage our online training resources, adapting them to the need of students and researchers around the world. Omics Logic programs follow a project-based learning approach using research-grade tools to analyze data from top peer-reviewed journals. Omics Logic training has been completed by over 10,000 participants from 162 countries and over 300 workshops for six different specialization tracks oncology, infectious diseases, precision medicine, neuroscience, data science for biomedical data, and comprehensive training on Omics data analysis. Now, let me introduce you to our Omics Logic team. Ilya Brodsky is the co-founder and CEO of Pine Biotech. Then we have Clinton Kuna, who is the bioinformatics trainer, and he has an MSc degree in bioinformatics and molecular medicine. Dr. Harpreet Kaur, she is a bioinformatics trainer, and she has done her PhD in bioinformatics. And then we have Dr. Mohit Mazumdar, who is our partnerships and project mentor. 
He also has a PhD in computational biology. Dr. Harpreet Kaur would be our mentor throughout the process of a research fellowship program. She has an expertise in bioinformatics and she has a record of 18 international peer-reviewed research papers in impact factor 120, citation H index is 8, conducted over 15 bioinformatics and data science training programs in India, Africa and USA. She helps us in education curriculum development, project mentor as explained by informatics and data science course development as well. And Dr. Mohit Mazumdar, who is a biomedical data scientist, he has a specialization in computational structural biology, atomistic molecular modeling and simulations. He has over 30 international peer-reviewed research papers in impact factor 120, has a citation H index of 7. He has published five book chapters, five novel bioinformatics tools and algorithms. And he looks after the education curriculum development, research project mentorship, bioinformatics and data science course development. He has contributed in the development and management of more than 30 bioinformatics and data science training programs and even in the last two years for students in India, Africa and USA. He is a Global Business Development Director and Research Project Mentor as well. And over the past several years, he has been developing collaborations with universities as a mentor and project lead for Omics Logic Training and Research Fellowship. Now, I would like to pass it on this session to CEO Ilya Brodsky so that he can continue with the process of registration for a research fellowship program and help you understand in a much better way. Thank you. So it's great to be here today and welcome everyone who joined. Um, I am, uh, my name is Ilya Brodsky, as Sonalika mentioned, uh, I have been working on uh, this vision of making bioinformatics more accessible. And I'm excited to share just a few words with you today about our research fellowship program. So I'm going to share my screen. So the research fellowship program is designed to uh, provide an opportunity for students uh, that are coming into this domain of bioinformatics, data science for biomedical data, and are interested in applications of data mining and machine learning to big data sets that are publicly available. So this fellowship is really uh, one of the programs that our company runs. Uh, it includes some training, some practical assistance to provide big data analytical support, uh, but it also is a good way for anyone who is just getting started beginning from high school and all the way into their PhD to get introduced to the intersection of data and the applications of bioinformatics in different areas of life sciences. So what I'll uh, do today is I'll uh, start from briefly introducing you to the need for bioinformatics in industry, academia, and uh, how this requires a deep understanding of where the data comes from and how it is utilized. So many of you are probably familiar with the fact that today life sciences that includes biotechnology, uh, pharmaceutical companies, clinical uh, research, as well as clinical applications is essentially data driven. And so we need to understand the flow of data from where it is generated in the lab uh, by people that essentially need to understand the utility of the data and the quality of the data. It is then processed by people that develop algorithms on how to process, analyze, and integrate such data, and is being utilized by people who make critical, vital decisions about patients, about their lives, about how to treat patients, about how to diagnose them more precisely and more accurately and find better treatments for diseases that have not been treated up until now. So what's uh, extremely important is that this continuum of data requires a, uh, an appreciation for biology as a data science. And that's the uh, era that we essentially live in, where biological problems could be described with very precise and detailed data that on one hand provide us with extreme opportunities and on the other hand, extreme challenges on how to analyze and make sense of this data. So before we continue, I see that there's already some questions, somebody raised their hands. So why don't we make a pause right here uh, if you have any questions, you can go ahead and paste them in the chat. 
Uh, we will talk about the program itself in just a few moments. Uh, but at this uh, point, I'm just going to ask you uh, uh, a question. And, and so my first question is, what is your uh, background? So if you could put in the chat box, uh, if you are in your undergraduate degree, so working on your bachelor's, if you're a master's student, uh, so your graduate degree, a PhD student, okay, thank you very much. So this information is going to be extremely helpful for us to, um, uh, when we start the program, we'll talk about how it's going to start uh, soon. Okay, so I see a lot of people, undergraduates, uh, biotechnology, human genetics, uh, masters, okay, biotechnology, graduate in computer science. Okay, excellent. Undergraduate. Okay, most of the people from biotechnology. Okay, thank you, Ariane. Biotechnology graduate, undergraduate. Okay, excellent. All right, so uh, the second question that I have, and I know that a lot of you here are from Amity University, but perhaps not everyone. So uh, could you also put it down your school? So what university are you from? Okay, Punjab University in Chandigarh, Amity, University of Delhi. Okay, excellent, thank you. Kerala uh, in Italy. Excellent, Amity University. All right, excellent. Thank you very much for sharing that information. So, um, what what really excites me is that the data part of biotechnology and biochemistry and uh, life sciences in general is really an international uh, domain where everybody has today at least access to high quality information and uh, tools to be able to extract meaningful insights from this data. So I think it's an exciting time that we're living in. And those of you that are uh, working on your undergraduate degree, uh, you are now getting into this field. You're getting to see how your career might develop after you complete your degree. Uh, those of you that are getting your master's, you're going to be choosing one of the specialization tracks. You're going to be choosing to either focus on the biology side, data science, engineering, uh, so it, it's, it's a time of making those decisions. And so what we hope uh, this program can provide you with is an opportunity to see how uh, bioinformatics or data science in application to biomedical data could really help you make the right decision about your future. Um, so one thing that um, I think is important to understand is that many come to the domain of bioinformatics trying to understand how to navigate the many different topics that bioinformatics encompasses. Because oftentimes you need to know how and where to find data sets. You have to have the skills and tools to explore and visualize data. You have to read and understand research methodology and papers that you are presented with. And then you also have to be able to gain insights and understanding based on your data analysis. So really tools of inference. And so because of that, we have developed this omics logic program that is essentially designed to provide an opportunity to go from the very beginning all the way to the end and understand how the domain of bioinformatics could be uh, understood from the omics perspective. And so what we do, uh, apart from this research fellowship, which I'll talk about in just a few more minutes, is we provide training resources that include asynchronous courses on topics like the introduction to bioinformatics, genomics, transcriptomics, epigenomics, metagenomics, as well as data science and application to biomedical data sets. And then we offer an opportunity for those that have completed this basic training to apply their skills to a uh, one of these few specialization tracks. And as Sonalika already mentioned, these include oncology, infectious diseases, neuroscience, agriculture, and uh, the integration of data uh, from a data science perspective. And that is because we, from the beginning, wanted to pursue this project-based methodology. And what that means is that we have this understanding of a particular type of data in the context of a real experiment. 
That experiment has been described by somebody else who has set up the parameters of that experiment. They have generated the data. And now we have to be able to analyze the data, understanding what are these parameters that we are working within? What are the constraints of this particular data set? And because of that, you have this background that you need to understand. And so as a result, you have access to data that was generated. You can learn about the methods that were used to analyze that data. And then you can start to focus your own interest, your own specialization in the context of a particular specialization. And so we've designed this portal around these different specialization tracks that provide examples of projects and essentially lead to an independent project that you can develop by using data sets from these experiments, applying methods that you've learned about to an independent project that you might be interested and motivated to complete. So what we um, have, and maybe here we'll pause, and uh, I want to introduce you to our portal called Omics Logic. So if you could all go with me to learn omicslogic.com. And uh, here you have uh, a button to log in. Uh, so if you could all go to uh, log in, I'm just going to uh, Sonalika or Mohit, please paste the link to learn omicslogic.com. Let me paste that here. Okay, so uh, please go ahead uh, on this portal. Uh, you have to sign up. And I'm going to be uh, using just a brief example from this portal. Okay, I'm not sure what's the uh, problem here. But if you could let me know once you have an account, I'm gonna show you a couple of resources that we'll be using today just to give you a sense of what this program is going to include. All right, so please let me know once you're signed up. It's a free sign up. You don't have to pay anything. This is to get you uh, into the platform so that you can start uh, going through some of the material that we'll be using throughout this program. All right, so I, I, I see a few people are signing up right now. Great. Okay, and as you're doing that, I just want to explain what this portal is going to offer you just as you are getting signed up. So the first thing is you will gain access to a description about different types of training opportunities, assignments uh, that will utilize our big data analysis platform. So already all of you today will get an account on Learn on, on our uh, big data analysis platform on server tbioinfo. Uh, you will also see some of the coding exercises that you can practice and learn from to develop data science skills in R and Python. And you will be able to see your profile as you achieve these different uh, goals of using uh, different practical assignments, uh, using different resources. You will actually start building up your profile. So, um, okay, I'll give just one more minute for those of you that are signing up. Once you're signed up, you will have your own. Uh, account that you can use to access different types of tools. And so today in our session, we'll take a look at how some of these tools uh, work and what are the problems that they solve. So how uh, does this solve uh, specific problems from the standpoint of developing practical skills for the 21st century as you're thinking about your career? including how to analyze different types of data, but also how to uh, develop skills of critical thinking, data-driven research, uh, using data in an informed way for analytics and data visualization, how to appreciate the challenges and opportunities for big data, and especially how to work on reproducible research. So some of these things are going to be mentioned and will become more clear after today's session. Once you're in, you will see that as you perform different activities, different types of courses and projects will be made available for you to explore based on your experience. So for example, you can explore 
Ebola virus and the deadly mutations. You can learn about the origins and pathogenesis of the novel coronavirus. You can learn how to track different mutations that we see in the novel coronavirus. And importantly, we have topics on many different areas like the epigenomic analysis of primary human T cell differentiation and asthma susceptibility modeling precision treatment of breast cancer using multiple types of cell lines and therapeutic agents. So the topic of personalized medicine, viral mutation landscape studies using ultra deep surseq sequencing of polio virus. As you know, the vaccine for polio virus is an important topic still in development. Grassmannia clavigera, the adapt adaptation of toxic resistance and pine pathogens. Analysis of the changing immune responses in cancer on cancer macrophages, uh, microbiome biomarkers from the American Gut Microbiome Project, whole transcriptome profiling of cancer tumors in mouse PDX models, deregulation of subcellular networks in cancer patients from the Cancer Genome Atlas, insect cell lines biologics production for the Spotoptera frugiperda cell line, um, crop drought stress and resistance on those uh, that are interested in agriculture, um, complex gene regulation in neurodegenerative diseases, Ebola deadly mutations about the pandemic of 2014-2016, and finally, your own project, right? So I assume that many of you are here because you are interested in an experience where you get to develop an independent research project. And so what up until now I've been talking about are projects that we've designed to help get you started. And after you get the basics of data analysis and how others have conducted their research, it is time to develop your own independent project. So the first thing that you come to when you think about developing your own independent research project, I think that you are probably thinking, well, how do I choose a topic for a research project, right? How do you actually uh, think about a compelling topic that somebody else might be interested in? Maybe a topic that will make you stand out from the rest, right? Everybody else is trying to do a research project as well. How do you actually uh, pick a topic that you can independently complete as a research project from beginning to the end? So to help you think about this problem, I think you can think about it from this perspective. First of all, you need to choose a topic that you already know something about and you care about it. How do you know what is that topic? Can you prepare a few slides explaining the topic background? Or can you see yourself spending a few months researching this topic? Number two, it's gonna be a topic that might be interesting to your audience. So if you think about completing this research project, let's say you wanna bring it back to your university professors, or you wanna share it with your friends. Maybe you want to participate in some kind of a poster session at a conference. How do you pick a project that is going to be interesting? Well, one way to think about it is, are there enough people who care about this topic? You can find something so narrow and interesting only to a small group of people, or you can find a topic that actually interests many people out there. So they will be looking at it and they will have questions that are relevant to what you're presenting. And the second, the way you can know about this is do you hear questions or discussions about this topic? So really if it's on people, Sorry, I think maybe I lost the connection there for a second. Um, let me share my screen again. Okay. So now I wanted to ask you, does anyone here already have a project in mind? Does anyone have a topic that you have chosen? Maybe you've thought about a cancer project. You wanna research um, I don't know, uh, breast cancer classification in uh, India. 
Um, or uh, maybe you've thought about neurodegenerative diseases and you want to understand the impact of infectious diseases on people with neurodegenerative diseases. So if you have a project that you've already thought about, maybe you could put that project uh, in the chat box. So uh, we, we kind of know what kind of topics you have um, that you're interested in. Okay, Praveda is saying asthma. All right, CRISPR-Cas9 and upgrading immunity. Uh, Cash is saying dengue virus. Excellent. Anyone else? Okay, so um, I, I see I have some internet maybe connection uh, issues. I don't know if it's from my side, but what I want to do now is I would like to pass this on to uh, Dr. Mohit Mazumdar, who will be describing the research fellowship project and help you uh, finalize uh, your uh, clear understanding about the program, the way it's organized and how it's going to be conducted, uh, and uh, also share with you the details about the registration. So Mohit, let me pass it on to you. Okay, thank you, Ilya. Let me share my screen. And thank you all for uh, sharing your research interests. It's very interesting to see so diversity in the way uh, everyone is thinking about this. So. Actually, it makes more sense because uh, bioinformatics can be applied to several fields and you can work on all of these uh, things that you have said about here, the research fields or the areas or the diseases that you are interested in. So thank you for sharing. And if you haven't shared yet, please feel free to share like any, any interest that you have to work on uh, for a research project. Okay, so today we are meeting for the research fellowship program and uh, I wanted to tell you all that this is a really special opportunity and why this is a special opportunity I will be telling you uh, very soon. So this bioinformatics fellowship is a structured program that guides students through various areas of big data bioinformatics research using practical examples. So that is what we have kind of tried to show you during this webinar. So during this program, we will be going through uh, several high quality research publications. So what does that, that uh, what does that helps us with is that we will be able to understand that what is going on and how to conduct quality research and what are the outcomes and then learn about the application of computational biology in projects. So these publications kind of describe uh, these projects and the courses that you see so in this entire way, this is a kind of an experience that allows beginners to try computational biology techniques on public domain data and making it possible to work on large files and extracting meaningful information from, for example, uh, patient samples, animal models, cell lines, and microbiota data um, and microbiota. So, uh, so as you see that there is there are several application of this data. So what we will be doing is that we'll be trying to understand that how we can analyze this data, how we can make the most of it, uh, most from it, uh, from the uh, from the information that we get from the data. So this program provides support and mentorship 
Therefore, uh, it is an extensive research program which involves uh, training tasks. So you will have also access to our online sessions and a guide on implementing uh, your learning and skills to, to the proposed research areas. So we have had this, this discussion about how we are going to conduct this fellowship program that is that will be available for all of you to join and how you can join and when you can start we will be discussing all of that so how we are going to conduct this uh, session so this in this entire program we will be conducting online sessions like this one where we will be interacting with you and showing you uh, the study materials and uh, going through the study materials some of the concepts that we think are important for you to learn from a mentor and also there will be practical assignments for, for an immersive experience uh, that is really effective because you go through the interactive learning then you go through the courses and then you uh, go through the practical assignments as well so we also have an active slack channel where uh, any questions can be posted about issues or challenges that you are facing in data analysis or going through the uh, resources at the same time, the session links together with the independent effort of uh, students going through the asynchronous training and joining sessions from uh, the program will help you develop this entire uh, summer training uh, into a really effort, uh, into a really effort, effective uh, um, uh, training outcome. So this weekly update is provided after student completes uh, a set of tasks. So there will be a weekly progress. So I'll be telling you about that as well. So in this weekly review session, students are uh, requested for a time slot. And during that time slot, we actually um, conduct the session and then we uh, uh, clarify the doubts that students have. So that's the process. And to tell you more about uh, the topics that, are we, that we are going to cover in during this session are uh, the major omics data types. So OMICS Logic is a comprehensive training program for students, researchers, and clinicians. So it starts from beginners who are interested in uh, data analysis, biological data analysis, and understanding that how biology is uh, seen as a data science. So as you are seeing that a lot large application of data science is there in today's world because we are recording all of the data. Similarly, if you can think of, of uh, what you can call bioinformatics, what is bioinformatics? It is actually a data science for biologists or for biological data. So this, uh, this program helps you go through all of that. So it's designed to uh, go through these various data types, methods, and in the context of cancer, neuroscience, infectious diseases, agribiotechnology uh, agri or agribiology. So after finishing this basic training, many continues to apply for what uh, Ilya also described as an independent project. So this program, which is what we are talking about today is a research fellowship program that gives you uh, an advantage to work with mentors who are experts in these fields and get guidance on a project design and technical assistance while completing a project for a poster thesis or publication. So what is the research fellowship process? And uh, before we go into the research fellowship process, I'd like to tell you that we have had a a uh, lot of success. So what we did, like uh, working on this projects, we did it like last sum, uh, last summer. We started working on the research internship uh, and research fellowship program. And during this time, we have had a wonderful uh, you know experience working with students and student groups and faculty developing these amazing projects in biology. And these are all unique and new projects. Uh, starting from work, I um, mean, radiation threats to humans in space using, using metagenomic data to understanding about um, the, the host response in COVID-19. And so there are several projects that we finished and many of those got like some recognition and we had just started to, you know, convert. I mean, after working through this entire uh, uh, process, uh, we are now getting uh, those uh, outcomes like uh, proposal or like a preprint or like a publication. So this is a case study. Uh, this is about Urja. So she was able to uh, publish this as a preprint, this her research. So it was about the differentially identified biomarkers and there was a comparison between neural stem cell and glioblastoma stem cells. 
So we did the analysis and as you can see that our team was involved in this entire fellowship and she as one of the outcome was this uh, preprint and now we are going to um, publish the full article in a research journal. Another example is Dilara here. So Dilara also is an undergraduate student at Peshtar University in Turkey. So she also completed her project uh, on uh, the astrobiology field and received a certificate of excellence uh, from the Omics Logic um, Research Fellowship Program. So we have another example that actually I wanted to talk about, especially that is about Simai. So this actually happened yesterday. We got a confirmation that her article is now published. So Simai is from Department of Molecular Biology and Genetics. Uh, uh, in Turkey. So she finished her omics logic training and we're able to work on a project that involves um, chronic lymphotic uh, leukemia, so CLL. So it's a type of blood cancer there that has a very heterogeneous uh, biological background and diverse treatment strategies are imp implied because of that. So in this study, we worked on um, finding differentially expressed genes in the protein coding region and then the ones that are involved in uh, processing of RNA. So we then led that led into the investigation of non-coding RNA. So we also looked into the non-coding RNA and then found that uh, how they are differentially expressed in two different conditions. So this is now this is just came this just came. So it is going to be online in a couple of weeks and we'll be able to share the link as well. So now about the process, uh, and I think it's. Uh, it's something that we have been talking about throughout the session and uh, uh, what we are going to do is that we are going to have a training which is uh, which is structured and guided so here is a link that we have kind of shared with you earlier also so let me share this link with you all again and maybe we can go to the site and see that how this works because we have explained uh, all of this into this uh, article So as we are, uh, as you are all coming here, or as if you can see my screen, I'm going to go through this. So this research fellowship program that we are going to propose, that we are going to do in the next few days, and that you all are participating or are interested to join. So how this is going to work, how it is going to work. So we will be uh, conducting live sessions, as I told you, and uh, then there will be a weekly report. So we have this weekly report structured and uh, um, in this uh, you will get a form that you will have to fill up every week so that many university request for a weekly progress report and this automated process helps you to get that report generated by uh, ease and by getting the links that you have completed throughout this uh, entire uh, internship or fellowship so i'll be showing you that how you can you, you, all the activity that you're doing is getting recorded in your profile and that could be provided as a part of your uh, report that you're completing these all courses and finishing all this uh, material so after that like uh, going out uh, talking about the progress so we will be learning about different technologies so as you have already registered on the on the learn platform uh, and we have several examples where people have talked about the research fellowship program and what uh, was what is the outcome. And I'll tell you about these examples and video recordings that are there already, uh, where participants have shown the, uh, that what they uh, what they uh, what analysis that they did and what is the outcome of the analysis and all of that. But uh, to tell you before about the courses, so here uh, are uh, some of the courses that you will be going through uh, towards the first. Uh, first part of the of this training so the first part of the training is that going through some of the basic material understanding what is bioinformatics where it can be applied what different uh, domains that you can apply to and uh, you get several ideas from here so this one and and if you if you need a uh, basic understanding of uh, of what is uh, biology and how biology is used as a data as data science then i would I would recommend you to take the bytes and molecule course. 
So that would be done in the first week. So just to give you glimpses of how this training is going to be. So many of these resources uh, you can check out uh, that are free. And then you have the star uh, for those uh, who will be participating in the program will get access to all of the other, other courses as well. So all of the courses. So this is structured into a program. So first you will be going through uh, all of the introductory material so that you have a basic understanding of how this <coughs> technology is applied and learn the basics. So after you learn the basics, we will be then, uh, you know, uh, learning about the application. So here is an example, like uh, about the application in genomics. So how do you present? Uh, we kind of have that presentation, how to frame a problem. So starting from introdu introduction, so how to use the cloud tools that uh, that we will be using for different data types, and then how do you evaluate your project, com uh, uh, come up with a research proposal. So this is a very important aspect that we will be doing, and this research project would demand something from you as well. So, so the, that is something that, that you have to prepare a research proposal. And that research proposal will be based on uh, about the idea that EDIA uh, kind of talked about uh, in the in in the uh, in his session, so that would require you to go through some of the some of the systematic way of doing literature review. So we will be doing literature review. Uh, so based on that literature review, you will be coming up with a proposal, and then uh, we will be doing exploratory data analysis, and then writing, editing, and preparing the project for submission. So this entire process is a uh, is is in the Omics Logic Fellowship program. So from doing uh, generating an hypothesis to doing the data analysis and then compiling that data into a form of a report. So uh, that would be covered in the uh, in the full fellowship program. And this full fellowship program is for three months. Now I know that there are few questions that uh, that uh, uh, that. Uh, that were asked about the certification because some of the universities are asking for a certification at an early date. For example, some are asking to give uh, have a cert for, for the students to have by uh, by July, uh, mid July, for say, for example. So we have had that discussion, and uh, we will be able to you will be able to get a, a certificate of participation. So. I'll be showing you that next, that what are the programs, how this program is going to be conducted and where you will find all these resources so that you can, if you will be able to do, uh, go through them and, uh, you know, kind of connect with us, uh, talk with us and get guidance and all of that. So we, you saw like there are several examples here that there are several topics that uh, students have worked on. They have worked on uh, on them independently. Many of them are from high school. Many of them are from undergraduate are undergraduate, and many of them are from um, uh, PhD and postdoc and faculty as well. So the process starts with uh, this uh, having to go through the material, and then you have several project examples. So if you're interested in different uh, areas of research, you can learn from what people have already done and how they have done it and what is the result out of it. So how do you, what kind of uh, result that you'll get out of this analysis? To have that experience, we have prepared all these projects that you can go through uh, at your own convenient time because these are asynchronously available as courses on the platform, on the Learn platform. So you'll have access to some of the projects that we think is uh, best for you. And then these are the mentor selected projects where you get mentor support. Uh, and uh, once you have uh, idea and all the data sets uh, figured out, then we will have uh, group sessions where we will be discussing about the research proposal and give you direction that what is the next step that you should do to complete your project. Similarly, I mean, in this page, you'll see that what is the outcome that people have received. For example, I saw, uh, I, I kind of uh, shared with you what, uh, Simaya, what Simaya's experience was and how she was able to complete her project and even publish it. So some of the outcomes that you can expect from this training, from this in, uh, training in bioinformatics, training in data science, and to be able to apply for, to do cutting edge research, is to be able to understand and challenges uh, that are associated with bioinformatics from a data-driven approach. That is what we are trying to do 
enabling you to understand from data and then training and development so you will be getting a, a lot of de uh, developing a lot of skill sets those skill sets are also like not only about the biological aspect but also about the data science aspect right so you'll be using algorithms you'll be using pipelines and you will be uh, analyzing that results to be tra to be traced to the biology you will be looking at the pathways maybe you will be looking at the genes and maybe you will be looking at the protein structures maybe you will be looking at drug drug response and drug designing all of that so there are several things that you can do uh, and and that is all possible through this uh, omics logic training and then you have the option to do the independent research and poster presentation and research publication so a lot of it depends on the student also so how much effort that you are putting into the project and there is an opportunity to work on you know group project uh, that has also a lot of you know possibilities to be able to go to the next step because uh, then you can divide your work between the groups and then uh, you will get to do a lot of things in a shorter period of time so those are some of the opportunities and uh, we do have a registration uh, registration portal for here but before i talk about maybe the registration and all of that i would just like to go back to my presentation and tell you why this is like a special program because uh, this program comes at a time uh, this time is a difficult time for many of us because of the pandemic and uh, the the way things have uh, turned out so uh, we are providing some special opportunities for a group of students uh, for example a group of students who would want to join uh, for a specific time and to be able to complete uh, work and experience big data bioinformatics and opportunity so this opportunity includes as i said uh, several of the resources so uh, when we have an omics logic program plan then uh, several resources are provided to all of the participant and that uh, that resources include the cloud resources so you will be having uh, access to analytical platform and that analytical platform can help you uh, uh, you know uh, develop different kind of uh, Uh, results uh, so doing from starting from uh, doing multi omics research to be do, to be able to do and uh, analyze using python and r so we have a code playground where you will be able to run codes and to be able to practice uh, data science aspect using r and python as well but if you are not uh, not into programming that does not mean that you will not be able to work on a project so this opportunity gives uh, this uh, pla uh, this this omics logic fellowship gives you an opportunity to work on um, an, an independent project without you know have, having to code because what we are trying to do using the platform is that we are building a logic and based on that logic you are applying it to the application of you know bioinformatics so it does not mean that in bioinformatics you have to have uh, only coding uh, to you know be a bioinformatician you can uh, apply bioinformatics to several of these projects and use the tools that are already available so that is another aspect and if you are interested in doing downstream analysis and doing visualization then you can obviously learn coding and that's quite simple in our coding platform so i'll encourage all of you to do that as well so you can do this all of it by first uh, logging into the learn platform and once you have a profile it will be easy for you to join the program and uh, access uh, the tools so once you have the registration complete once your registration is complete then you will get access from us like we'll be sharing an additional email to you about this uh, tbind for platform access so you will get password and um, uh, username and password uh, the same username and a different password for this and then you will be able to also utilize the code platform code playground uh which is also available uh to the participants of participant of this program so uh to tell you like to conclude this uh i would like to tell you about how this omics logic training is helping people because the goal of the omics logic program is to provide training in bioinformatics and enabling independent uh, research guided by mentors and peers so that would be one of the thing that we will be doing and then there is a community so developing a growing community so this like interaction can help uh, ideas can can help suggestions can help some of our uh, students who started with us in 2019 uh, 
they kind of now have established some of the groups uh, into like different startups and they're doing different things in bioinformatics. So enabling students, clinicians and faculty of all background to develop research and projects and then other uh, aspects of business business as well. So that's all uh, that's, that, that are some of the things that we are doing together uh, with our team here. And we'll be happy to uh, help all of you to join us uh, for this internship fellowship program. And uh, that is kind of uh, talked, uh, that we kind of discussed throughout this webinar. So how do we, how can you join the program? So the, the thing that uh, I wanted to tell you that this is a special opportunity and why this is a special opportunity is because, uh, uh, because the program, as you can see, uh, let me go back and sh uh, sh to show you this page uh, is, priced at $225 for three months. And for six months, it's uh, it's $450. And we have two kind of licensing here, beginners and advanced. But for uh, this uh, program, we are providing a special, uh, uh, I mean, scholarship to students and they can uh, join us. Uh, and they, if you are registered, you'll get emails about it and you will be able to uh, join the program for a, with a scholarship, which will be much more affordable for you uh, once you request for that scholarship. And we'll be sharing that to you via email. So if you have registered with us, uh, if you have not registered with us, please uh, share uh, your email addresses uh, to uh, uh, with us and uh, please fill up the form. So if Sonalika, if you can share the form that we have emailed to all of the participant, that would be great. And the scholarship, as I said, we have had this discussion with uh, Rida here. So maybe I can pass it on to Rida to talk about the registration process for MET students and other students as well. Hello, Mohit, am I audible? Yes, Rida, you are audible. Perfect. So uh, what I believe that uh, the students from Amity University and uh, associated with me who have conversed with me, they will get a special discount and offers. But what I believe is that they'll be getting is much more than that. That is something very specific that right now we as biotech students or people looking for internships uh, are looking online. We are specifically looking for internships online. And all the research institutes or the institutes that were present before, they just went online a year back. But this institute, Pine Biotech, has been online since uh, inception, since it started. And I believe then if we have to learn from online um, internships only, then why not go for the best? So this is what I believe. And for anyone from Amity who is right now here, they can either connect with me or they can either get the email uh, for the special discount that Pine Biotech will be offering for students. Over to you, sir. Mohit, sir, over to you. Yeah, thank you. So, I mean, please feel free to uh, ask any questions and Sonalika, if you can take over and discuss about the next steps. Thank you, sir. So here I am just sharing with you all the form which you have to fill for this uh, research fellowship. And as uh, I all, like we all know that you all want to do internship in uh, bioinformatics right now, right? So what, one thing like I felt very evident was that we all know what the importance of computational biology is. But there are very few institutions which actually provide uh, an edge to it and help us uh, provide the mentorship and things. There are many people who are asking in the chat, like uh, what is the process, who can join? So it's not specific for students, like we have many students, we have, in, uh, we have PhD scholars, we have researchers, we have even faculty members. So it's not specific to a particular group, like anyone who is interested to do a research project under mentorship, they are most welcome. You take the projects, you take the courses which are there on our portal, learn things, and then we start with the project under mentorship. So I've uh, shared the form with you. Please fill the form. And uh, those who are interested, please mail me at marketing 
at the rate find.bio. I'm sharing it in the chat. Or you can also mail Dr. Mohit at mohit.find.bio and your queries would be answered. And uh, let's then discuss what we can uh, do ahead. And also we have a scholarship form. I would be mailing you all the same and uh, then we will proceed with your application. So thank you so much everybody for being a part of this webinar and uh, actually gave us the opportunity to tell you all about this research opportunity we have with us. So we are looking for more research fellows because yes, India is lagging behind in R&D and we as youth, we are what? We are the future of India. We need to work a lot towards research. We need to really work towards that. Let's get on doing some uh, great, amazing projects and uh, take things ahead. So bye-bye, take care, stay safe. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you everyone.